We're looking today at these two fruit trees, this one and the one next to it. These two trees have really dark foliage and uh, they are black sapote fruit trees. Um, here's one of the leaves. You can see how dark they are. Uh, the black sapote fruit is better known as the chocolate pudding fruit and this tree has several on it today that we're going to check. We'll, we'll pull one down and we'll check and see if the fruit is ripe. We'll use this telescoping picking basket and hopefully the fruit won't be too soft and uh, we'll be able to grab it with the end here. If you look up here, this one branch seems to have several on it. I'm going to try to get this dark one right here. Not sure if that's focusing or not. Next to it there's another one right there and there might even be another one in here somewhere. But anyway, that's the goal right there. We'll pluck that little pudding fruit off and we'll have a look at it. No, it's not easy holding the camera and the picking basket at the same time. Okay, I think I've got it. Come on. Oh, it doesn't want to come off. The branch is bending and the fruit is staying put. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I got it. All right. Let's see what we got. That was a lot of work. And that was the result. You can see it kind of looks like a green persimmon almost. But it's still pretty hard. So probably we're going to have to let this sit for a few days and hopefully it will get softer. In order to have it uh, the chocolate pudding consistency uh, it has to be almost mushy. So we'll go and put that up on the shelf for a few days and then we'll see what happens. One feature about the black sapote tree is it can be really hard to spot the fruit. And you can see why. The fruit is almost the exact same color as the foliage and it's usually pretty dark inside the canopy here and so the fruit tends to blend in very well. You really have to look several times to even find any fruit usually. Like if we're looking right now there's actually several several of them up there and I'm having trouble finding them. Here's one for example it's dark green and everything around it is dark green and uh, so it, it makes it kind of hard to, to actually find any fruit on these trees but it's up there <coughs> I 
All right, it's been about five days since we picked this black sapote. You can see it's gotten a lot darker and it's very soft right now. You can see it has some dimples in it too. It's right now is a good time to cut it open, so let's cut it open and see what's inside. You know, some people say that this doesn't actually taste like chocolate pudding. But actually, I think it does. It, it, uh, it has a sweet and soft flavor, much like a chocolate pudding would have. It's not exactly a chocolate taste, but it's actually pretty close. You can see the texture here. Very similar to pudding. And this lump here, I believe, is where this, the seeds, but I don't actually see any individual seeds in there. Here we go. Well, if there were seeds, they would be in that mass right there. Actually, I don't see any. Sometimes you'll find seeds in this fruit and sometimes not. This is actually a very good tasting fruit, and it is sweet. It's not real sweet, it's slightly sweet. And as you can see, it's got a nice soft creamy texture. chocolate pudding fruit.